You don't belong here. You're no son of mine. You are no son this of mine. This isn't about him, it's about you. Do you think you deserve this? him! This is your fight, Mason. I'm not gonna let you embarrass the family name. You can do this. No matter what we get thrown at us, we power through. You don't have what it takes, kid. You don't want it enough. You wanted this fight. So fight! Coffee and pizza. All right, fine, let's do it. Ow! Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Fuck. All right, who's ready for some of the best coffee in the galaxy? All right. Tell you what, I'm just gonna leave this here. But when you decide to drink it, farmers died for those things. Ah! Hey! What the fuck? You better get your fucking shit together and drink that, you ungrateful bitch. this, we don't need this, or this. Tent first, eh? Organisation leads to zen relaxation. Oh, come on, we're on a family holiday! <laughs> or vacation, as the Yanks would say. Hey, let's grill some dogs, have some beer and soda. Hey, we, we could play some, some soccer. <laughs>
we are not going to. What's the point? Maybe it's too late anyway. Look, I... I can you hear that? Listen, hold, hold it here. Leave Tessa soon. Stop. I'm coming, darling. A middle-aged man with a middle-aged spread walks into our story, hanging his head. He opens the doors to a shop for computers, hard drives, processors, motherboards, and routers. The shop is called Byte. It's for spares and repairs. Nothing significant that could change world affairs. But what's yet to happen will get you to thinking. I hope this short story will give you an inkling. Quick signature here, and this gift is yours. Then as quickly as he came, he's out through the doors. He opens his parcel so slowly at first. The excitement's too much, he feels he could burst. I feel like First, I'm going to take off the roof. He removes tissue paper to reveal just a tooth. Away from the world and this sign of the tooth, alone in his shop, the moment of truth. What monster is she that she gives such a gift? But she's as big as a house and as heavy to lift, with grey scraggly hair and warts on her nose, with only breath and... Horrible clothes. She could look like hate moss. <laughs> no, don't give it to us. She pulls out her teeth to impress a man. I have no idea how somebody can think it's so sweet and so clever and so dandy to give their own tooth instead of some candy. The clock strikes midday. The sound of a knock. <laughs> a figure appears. He's frozen in shock, with fear and alarm at what he may see. A toothless stranger in love with me. With no second thought, as fast as a bolt, quicker than even Usain Bolt, he opens the door. But what does he find? Not the woman he had hoped in his mind. Now he stands there in awe of the woman he sees. He goes dry at the mouth and weak at the knees. The gap in her smile brings a tear to his eye. Returning her smile, trying hard not to cry. I think I love you. That didn't take long. My thinking before, I see now it was wrong. Will you be my one, my love, my wife? Because I think I found you for my life. Men like that don't care what it takes to get money, they just get it. He'll kill you. He will kill you. He'll steal your money and he'll take your intestines as Christmas decorations. A panic attack. There's no threat. There's no threat. You find me. 
and not find them. The brain cannot deal with a threat. If it perceives a threat that isn't there, it creates it. That is the nature of anxiety. The sapping beast that plugs into your spine and sucks out the logic, turns your brain to mush, fears everything. I am nothing. I am worthless. Everyone wants me dead. I should be dead. I should be dead. I should be dead. There's no wrong. There's no right. There's only pain. No. Pain is an illusion. I have hope. I have a future. I'm in control. I have a path. I have a life. I am not dying yet. I am fine. Oh. You all right? Yeah. Just thinking of heading down the pub, actually, if you fancy it. I'm all good right here, buddy. Okay. I just gave my brother money. Again. I shouldn't have. I know I shouldn't have. I just can use it for, um... For, uh, you know. I said I wouldn't do this again. Thank you.